Um, first and foremost, I um, just want to thank um, Brian Fletcher, um, Peter Graham and the board for honouring our family's name in this award. Um, I know Peter Graham, um, my mum thinks so, much, so highly of you um, and to our family this means so much. So thank you. Um, secondly, I want to congratulate all the award winners here tonight and obviously the Panthers first grade for um, their third consecutive win. Um, as a fan, you've um, obviously done our community um, uh, proud, so um, I just want to thank you guys how much it means to us. Um, I won't speak too much, too much longer, but I will say um, my pop, um, he didn't have too many characteristics, if you were, to play in his footy team, um, but these three were a must. Uh, you weren't to have an earring, um, you weren't to have a shoot haircut, and you went to be a cat. So let's hope this person isn't any of those three. Um, I know I can assure you he's none of those three. Your Merv Cartwright winner for 2023 is Isaiah Congratulations, Isaiah. What a year. Three in a row. What does it mean to you? What does it mean to this club? Yeah, it means an awful lot. It's, um, it's, it's all I've known since I left high school. I moved down here as a 17-year-old. Um, thank God for football because I didn't know what I wanted to do other than that. So I, um, I've, I've really ridden the roller coaster. A lot of the boys have come in and had success from the jump. Um, that wasn't so much the case. Uh, 2015, uh, we were fighting for the wooden spoon last game. I think we beat Newcastle to avoid it. That was also Ivan's start of his little break from the club until he came back. Um, but yeah, look, I, you just uh, you never take it for granted. This is yeah, these have been really special these last few years, and, um, yeah, and very much enjoying it. Yeah, amazing stuff. Hey, um, three in a row, four grand finals. Um, where does this one sit? This last one, where does it sit compared to the others? Yeah, definitely right up there. It's um, the, probably the way it happened. It's, it's probably a lot more exciting. Uh, I'd definitely prefer it to be like the year before, where we were in total control for felt like the whole 80 minutes. Whereas this one, um, yeah, well, just that was never the case. It was um, particularly I didn't know what was going on. So when our run started, um, I was in there getting a head check, and I was just hoping that all that cheering wasn't Broncos scoring again. <laughs> thank God it wasn't. Uh, I came out and turned. It was the Nathan uh, Cleary show. So thank God for that. But oh. um, yeah, look, it was out outstanding. Just the sort of how it all happened. It was just summed up our season. It just summed up our group so much. They were just always in the fight, um, how courageous we are. And um, yeah, it hasn't been done before in the NRL era. And that, that's pretty special. Round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the first 20 minutes of that second half, I mean, you were off, Sorrow was off, Romy was off. Uh, fans, Look, we're looking at each other going, how are they going to turn this around? Where was the belief? What were you saying to each other in those moments? Uh, we are saying all the right things, but um, our eyes probably weren't um, that positive. It was, yeah, you could just see there was a little bit of that, what's going on here at the moment. But, um, yeah, well, I missed all the good stuff, to be fair. So whatever, yeah, they, were, whatever, <laughs> whatever they were saying under the, under the post after that must have been pretty positive. But, um, yeah, look, it, like I touched on, we're, just, we're never out of the fight. We work so hard as a group. Um, as Ivan touched on, we, we just stuck to our process, um, stuck to our systems, and when we do that, good things normally happen. So, uh, fortunately, they did on the big stage. So, so good. You're a Merv Cartwright medalist. What does that award mean to you? It, it's one of the, the highest accolades, right? Yeah, it certainly is. It's, um, I've been fortunate enough, I, I came through the grades with Bryce Cartwright. Um, I've been to a lot of Prezos now, so, uh, I think this is my 10th year in grade. So, I guess each year you sort of get to learn about uh, Merv and, and how much he meant to this club and um, how much he put into this club to make it what it is now. And yeah, to be standing here at the end of the year, particularly after a season like that where we've just won a comp, and um, yeah, obviously, thank you to Ivan and the coach and staff that have yeah, um, given me this award. But it, it, yeah, it, it's bloody special. It's be something, maybe not what I look, um, what I sort of understand now, but certainly when I'm finished my career, it'll be something I look back on very fondly. And um, I'm sure I'll brag to my, my two kids at the moment when, uh, when I'm a bit older. But uh, yeah, just enjoying the moment. So good. You were born in Dubbo. I was too. Two Dubbo boys standing up here today. Um, what does that mean for that community, your family back there in Dubbo? Yeah, it means a lot. Well, they're, they're a big reason why. So 
Um, as most families are, they're extremely biased, and they certainly are biased for me. It's, yeah, I can't do much wrong in their eyes. Um, so I've got to try and block that out as much as I can as well. They, they don't really help me all that much. But um, no, nah, look, they're, they're my reason why. It's, um, I've got very, I'm very lucky to have a very supportive family. Um, mum, dad, two sisters, a brother. I shouldn't forget that. Um, and yeah, they're there with me uh, by my side. And then I've obviously got a, a very loving fiance um, and our, our two little ones. So I've got little Haven, little Lennox. Um, Lennox was born this year, so just yeah, this makes it that extra special year. Brilliant. Your co-captain, special, isn't he? Say that again. Cleary. Nathan Cleary, you know the bloke that uh, you lead this team with? Yeah, <laughs> I mentioned in the press conference the other day, I don't like wrapping him to his face, but I've had to do it a lot lately. Um, <laughs> look, he's, yeah, I'm very lucky to be able to co-captain beside him. He's, um, well, first of all, he's just a wonderful mate. I love going to training with him each and every day. Um, but then to see what he's done in the foot, foot, football field, it's, it's, I feel like it's no surprise to me. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just so happy on the big stage. He just keeps proving people wrong. And I, I love that about him. He's, he's the ultimate competitor. Um, yeah, I love that, he's, love that he's our seven and he's our leader. He's so good. He's so, you're all great. You're an amazing club. You're an amazing team. Um, and just, I can't let you go without asking, who's been best on ground uh, celebration-wise after the, uh, the big game? Uh, well, I'll admit, I was probably with Jill. I didn't go on the, on the um, little festivities yesterday. I apologise, boys. Um, <laughs> but we had a signing session today, and Scotty Sorensen ruined, I reckon, about 50 to 100 jerseys by not seeing where he was signing. So <laughs> he's been red hot for us, Solza, and I haven't seen it like that before, so I'm loving every minute of it. <laughs> well, you get every reason to celebrate not just today, but uh, the weeks and months ahead. You've done an amazing job, Isaiah. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 Merv Cartwright medalist. Thank you all.